And one of the things you should remember with confidence intervals is we can always go backwards where if we're given a confidence interval, then we can turn around and find the point estimate and the margin of error. And don't forget that the confidence interval for proportions is centered at p hat and has a distance of e, the margin of error on both sides. So working with problem two, first thing is to find p hat. I take the upper end, because we always want to start there, and most importantly, I add the lower end and divide by two. Now notice I kept the percentages here, just because if I changed them to his decimal now, when I get to the answer part, I'd have to change them back. And for this step, you don't have to go to decimals. I also put these parentheses here because probably of the way I was entering it in my calculator, but you know, you don't need those parentheses. So 30% divided by two gives me 15%. Yeah, that looks like that's in the middle. The margin of error is now to subtract the confidence interval values and divide by two to find a 2% margin of error. So yeah, 15% looks like it's in the middle, and if I subtract 2%, I'll get 13, and if I add 2%, I'll get 17%, so that felt pretty good. Let me have you go ahead and work on problem three, and then let's check your answers after you've paused and solved this problem. Okay, so let's see if you did everything right. So for P, you would have added the percentages. Notice this time I dropped the percent symbol, but I didn't move the decimal. Um, so long as I put it back at the end, I'm okay. As I work this out, I got 89.6% as my point estimate, the middle value. Eh, that's a little hard to tell if that's in the middle, but it's in there. So hopefully I didn't make a mistake. I don't have a big red flag. For the margin of error, I subtract those same values and get 4.3%. And actually, this one's kind of easy to calculate because subtracting the 4% does give me 85.3. And when I go ahead and add, because of the 9 and the 4, I know it wraps around a 93, and I'm just adding 0.6 and 0.3, that's actually not too bad to check.